Hello and welcome back to The Blame Game. I'm your host, Joe Hildebrand, and joining me are Eamon Fitzpatrick, Todd Hayward, and James Morrow. Let's get right into it because this one is an absolute doozy, and James you might take a particular interest in this, given that it has just a tinge of racism. It turns out that Peter Fitzsimons, who is a former rugby union player and a staunch Republican, a current staunch Republican, he's a columnist, he's a novelist, he's a sports commentator, but guess what? He doesn't like American football. A bit racist. Upon hearing reports an NFL match is due to be hosted in Australia, Fitz dedicated a column to listing all the way he dislikes the sport. Um, James, who do we blame for Peter Fitzsimons racistly not liking American football? 30 seconds, go. We blame Peter Fitzsimons for not liking American <laughs> football because if you read the column in which Peter Fitzsimons talks about how much Peter Fitzsimons does not like American football, he talks about American football being boring and mediocre and yet overly hyped. And you have to wonder, well, maybe Peter Fitzsimons doesn't like the competition. <laughs> oh, sick bird. And we love you, Fitz. We love you. Uh, Eamon Fitzpatrick, blame the right for Peter Fitzsimons not liking NFL. Well, clearly there is an absolute issue because his other favourite cause is struggling. That is the cause for the, the left-driven re the republic, you know. And the, that, like, is that still a thing? So I know we're talking about it's it. Going, it's, it's, it's going. It's And what's with the assistant, it's, it's, like, Matt Thistleway, a great bloke and everything. Why? What, what has he done? Did he run over Albo's cat or something? <laughs> what has he done to deserve being saddled with this ignominy? It's just... Well, he, hey, Matt, he, guess what you're the minister for? What? Is he <laughs> from the right? That, Isn't that that's, 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 that's right. taken away from, from Fitzsimons. If you ever wanted to know what it's like being in a pitch black train tunnel and then just seeing a light coming towards you, <laughs> yeah. that's Matt Thistlewhite's experience when he found out he was doing the Republican thing. Todd Hayward. Um, who is to blame for uh, good old Fitz? Two, there's two people. Because you like it, you like Gridiron, don't you? Oh, I, I do. I, I was late adopted to it, but um, Gridiron is a terrific game once you actually take the time to appreciate it. It's also bite-sized pieces. I was going to say, once you can bet on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, that's, that's what he meant. There, are, there are multiple options there to keep you interested, don't worry. <laughs> but look, there, there's a couple of things that Fitz did here. He compared it to Rugby Union. I mean, bad mistake, yeah, yeah. that. I mean, mm. anyone who's watched a Rugby Union scrum in the last 20 years surely wouldn't be awake to see the end of the match. So that is a bad mm. mistake. I blame whoever decided to create the columnist. Oh, President God, Company accepted. Know, yeah. A lot of columnists are self-important yeah. people who are attention seekers. I'm not saying Peter's that, but he doesn't mind no. the spotlight. For you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. In fact, I wrote a column about that just the other day. <laughs> it's a 